It's been one heck of a winter, polar vortex, snow, rain, melting snow. It all adds up to flooding across Wisconsin. In tonight's Inside Look, we check in with Andrew Mangum, hydrologist with NOAA's North Central River Forecast Center. He joins us from Chanhassen, Minnesota, and thanks very much for doing so. Happy to be here. You know, we are seeing images right now from across Wisconsin of flooding, and it looks like pretty significant flooding. After rain and snow this week, what is the flooding situation across Wisconsin? Well, currently the flooding situation is rapidly developing. Um, <clears throat> you know, you said it best when you said polar vortex, snow, rain on snow. We've got uh, pretty elevated chances of significant flooding across the entire state because of the conditions on the ground. And what we're seeing right now is just the beginning of that. This rainstorm that passed over has brought down a lot of the snowpack. So you go outside, you see a lot of the snow has come down. However, that water is only just now starting to make it into the rivers all over the place. What we're seeing instead is ice jamming and flooding from ice jams where ice piles up into a big ice dam and causes a backup of water all over the place. And so you will get flooding in a lot of unexpected areas and flooding that's very difficult to forecast. How is this year different than others? This year is different than others in that we just have a historic level of snow. In many places, February blew out the record for snow, snow that fell in February. We also went into the winter with the rivers at fairly elevated levels in terms of flow and the soils very, very wet. So what makes this year different, it's not any one factor, it's the fact that we have a combination of all of these factors that makes this year a little bit different and leads us to a situation where we have the potential for some very significant flooding. Does, uh, does this year look like historic flooding? You know, I mean, is it that different? Uh, there certainly could be some historic floods. Now that is a misleading title sometimes. There could be historic floods in places where we have gauges there for a very long time and that's a very serious situation. And there's an elevated chance of flooding at those kind of spots. There can also be historic floods in places where the gauges are very new and we don't have a very long record. Just today, we issued several forecasts along those lines that are record floods, uh, not necessarily in Wisconsin yet, um, but around other parts of our area. They're record floods, but the gauges are so new that the records aren't quite as serious as some people might think. However, we are headed towards some record flooding in Ozaukee County, uh, getting very close to that uh, in right around Cedarburg because of ice jamming. We did extensive coverage of the flooding in Sauk County last year to, due to the Baraboo River overtopping its banks. What is the status of that area right now? I mean, th those people are still trying to recover from last year. Yeah, absolutely. That river, we're starting to see the runoff uh, develop into actual flooding into that river. So far, it doesn't look like we're headed because the rain was not as heavy as we thought it might be. Uh, coming into the storm. So far, we're not headed towards major flooding, but certainly we could re reach what we call moderate flooding, uh, where, you know, county roads and things like that will be difficult to access, and any homes close to the river might be impacted. Uh, for people that are living in that area, I would absolutely recommend contacting the Weather Forecast Office, either in La Crosse or Milwaukee, um, to ask about what kind of impacts they could expect and check what the forecast is, looks like. We are monitoring that river very, very closely. In fact, you, I am monitoring it. You, you spoke of Oz Ozaki County. What are other critical spots? Uh, let's see. I would say that a lot of the critical spots are happening in the, you know, the Kickapoo area over in southwest Wisconsin. Um, certainly, Sauk County with the Baraboo River is, is critical. All along the Wisconsin River heading on up into Rhinelander, that is, that snow has yet to fully develop into flooding, so that's kind of waiting in the wings. Northeastern Wisconsin, we're getting a lot of ice jamming, so up and down the Milwaukee River, uh, all the way down to Milwaukee. So uh, it's a little hard to say there's one spot in the state that is bad. It would be probably more accurate to say that there are many spots in the state that are at risk, at least, of some significant flooding. Uh, with about a minute left, uh, given the snowpack and the frozen ground and these ice jams, how long could this go into the spring? Uh, I would say at least another month of looking at this, of, of elevated chances. And then we should be able to get rid of much of the snowpack, so I would say month to six weeks, we'll have everything kind of flushed out just in time for the big summer storms to come in. And we're hoping that what we get is a nice kind of maple syrup spring where we get, you know, slightly warm days and cold nights that can bleed off the snowpack slowly. But we'll see. All right, we will see. Andrew Mangan uh, from NOAA, thank you very much. Thank you.